Hey Explorers, I'm Jay. And I'm Patrick. And here we are at Whiskey Town National Recreation Area. Checking out everything that it has to offer. And this is Whiskey Town Lake. So although this was once a bustling mining town, the original Whiskey Town was flooded to make way for Whiskey Town Lake in 1962. Uh, the full name of the area is actually Whiskey Town Shasta Trinity National Recreation Area. It offers visitors outdoor activities such as hiking and boating, in addition to the many historical sites related to the California Gold Rush of 1849, and um, also the relocated town cemetery. Here we are at the Clare Hill Dam at Whiskey Town Lake. And uh, what you see behind me here is called the Glory Hole. And what it does is it prevents uh, any type of flooding that happens for water to drain down and end up in the creek below. So uh, the area can't get over flooded. Uh, but there it is, the glory hole. All right, we made it to the Whiskey Town Cemetery. So it looks like there's been a lot of reconstruction Back in 2018, a fire decimated the entire area. Um, and so there's a local society here that ends up uh, keeping the place clean and up to date. And these, you can see around me, they've done a pretty good job. But check here with this grave in particular. You've got the uh, burnt stump of a tree indicative of the fire that happened here. Uh, even the trees here. All, all, all around the pine trees, the uh, bark is showing the scars and the markings of the fire. Um, so the cemetery holds the bodies of of the residents of the former Whiskey Town, which is now underwater uh, underneath the lake. Um, and then also there's current residents here too. There's uh, looking around here. There's there's one uh, grave right here. That's from 2013, so fairly recently. Oh wow, check out this strange little lizard just staring at this grave marker. So when they determined that they were going to take the land that was Whiskey Town and turn it into the lake, um, pretty much most of the buildings were destroyed. There were two buildings uh, that were maintained, the post office and a store those two buildings were moved to higher ground, uh, but unfortunately the fire in um, 2018 destroyed both those buildings. The only other part of the original Whiskey Town that's still, um, uh, still above water is the cemetery. And it's not the original location of the cemetery. They moved uh, the cemetery from its original location in Whiskey Town up to its current location. Um, with that, the fire in 2018 um, seems to have um, hit this location as well, as there's a lot of um, char, um, burnt trees, uh, but there's a local group that maintains the cemetery. You can tell that they're doing a lot of work to um, uh, repair uh, what was lost with that fire. When we're talking about some of the older historic graves here, here is the grave of Sarah Williams, born in 1887, died in 1891.
so she was fairly young. Walking through the cemetery, you get a real somber feel. Um, not just the uh, bodies at rest, but also we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. And even though there isn't much around here, so many of the graves have uh, flowers and flags. So definitely loved ones are visiting. Here's one with a baseball cap on top. So it's still a very active cemetery. And uh, again, with the fire that came through in 2018, it makes it even more of a of an odd place to visit but a little bit peaceful at the same time too well, there it is whiskey town cemetery let's take one last look Thanks for coming along with us on another adventure. For more information about this location, check out the links below. And remember to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Well, we hope you join us next time on our next adventure, where we don't just travel, we, we explore. explore. See you next time. Bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Appreciate the chance to be here in Whiskey Town and to uh, say a few words from this uh, distinguished uh, community. The Whiskey Town Reservoir is not the largest structure on the Trinity River, but its completion is significant because this is the last of the Trinity Project dams. When the Trinity Division completed and the upper reaches of the Sacramento now harnessed, Shasta County and its neighbors are assured of water and power. They can enjoy new chances for recreational use and new access to open space. And of great importance, the flow of two watersheds can now be regulated for the benefit of the farms and cities in the lower valley. For too long, this water ran unused to the sea. For too long, surface water in one area was wasted while there was a deficit nearby. Now, by diverting these waters to the eastern slope, we can irrigate crops on the fertile plains of the Sacramento Valley and supply water also for municipal and industrial use to the cities to the south. And while running their course, these waters will generate millions of kilowatt of energy and help expand the economy of the fastest growing state in the nation. Our national assets belong to all of us, Children who were born in the East will grow up in the West, and the West will grow up in the East. And we will find by concentrating our energy on our national resources, on conserving them, but not merely conserving and saving them, but by developing and improving them, the United States will be richer and stronger. We can fulfill our responsibilities to ourselves and those who depend upon us. I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to be associated with those who are contributing to this country who are making it better, not merely right now, today, but who are looking to the long future of those who come after us. I congratulate you on what you've done. Thank you.